Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm very thankful that you take the time to check us out, okay? Um, I want to talk to a few of my boys and girls who are about to leave college, about to leave um, high school and to go into the working world. Uh, college as well, college as well, because you have some um, children who leave high school straight into college. Um, I want to share some information with you with regards to a job interview. All right, I can remember my first job interview in Morant Bay. I spent the entire weekend on my grandmother's back porch practicing. What would I say when I go to the interview? Practicing to say, oh, good morning, sir, good afternoon, sir, or, you know? Um, all those things, I was a bit nervous. Um, I know I want to speak in English, and I just left Robert Lightburn High School. I was not that fluent in English language. And I had to be practicing for the entire week, and I spent the entire weekend um, saying these lines over and over again, what I'm going to say when I get to the interview. And of course, you know that it doesn't matter what I practice. When you get into that room, you forget everything, right? All right, so when you go to an interview, um, you want to you want to step in, and uh, you you have to step in with confidence. Right? you can't step into an interview looking shy and cold and frightened. Even if you're nervous, you must not show it. So you walk into your interview, and you exude some level of confidence, not to be too cocky, not to be too show off. Remember, it's not your place. You're there for an interview, all right? And you want to send a positive message because uh, first impression lasts. And trust me, it is a fact. It does last. You will be held for that um, first impression for the rest of your life. And so um, you want to go into the interview and you say, good morning, sir. You say, good evening, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Or whoever the person is, if it's a man, you say, sir. If it's a woman, you will say, madam. All right. Or if you know the person personally, you can say, Mrs. A or Mrs. B or whatever it is, right? And um, when you say good morning or good afternoon or good evening, you do not sit down until the person tells you to do so. All right? So let the person offer you a seat. After the person offers you a seat, you should say thank you. This is where social grace comes in. Because we go to school and we hear about social grace, please, excuse me, I'm sorry, good morning, good evening. And I have some information on social graces um, in the YouTube link, right? check it out. This is where social grace become important because when they say, can you have a seat? Thank you. And you sit properly. All right. Um, if you're a woman, you should sit and you, you put one foot over the other. You don't wipe with a foot like that, right? Um, and a man, if you're a man, you, you sit and you drop your legs together. You don't spread out the people in place. All right. You sit properly and you put your hands on your your leg right and you look attentive you don't slouch over either sit up you know shoulders yeah look attentive right and look alert and try to make eye contact the people are talking to you and looking all over the place all right you want to maintain eye contact not to stare but when a person is talking to you you want to pay some attention all right and um, you try to answer your questions uh, as short as possible. Of course, they're going to ask you, what is your strength? Your strength are things that you're good at, like you love to talk, uh, you're good at research, or you're good at critical thinking, you're good at decision making, you like to lead your groups. Um, some of your weakness could also be your strength, you know, because sometimes your strength can be your weakness. Um, for example, your strength is you, you, you like to do things by yourself. And your weakness is that you don't like to give people things to do, all right? And that strength also can be a weakness because it makes you overwork. You don't want that either. So some of your weak areas could be talking to people. It could be um, being on the front line. It could be offering customer service. It could be working with other persons as one of your weakness, you know? And they're going to ask you all those questions. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What do you like? You know, they're gonna ask you a question that doesn't have to do with the your application. Of course, your application is going to have on which school you go to, uh, from primary school, high school, college, 
and your CXC, to show your qualification, whether you have your bachelor's or your associate degree or your master's degree or whatever you have, your qualification is, yes, it's have on those, all right? They, they know that already, but they're, they're going to want to know who you are, all right? So the interview is basically to know who the person is. Always remember that. The interview is not about how many subjects you have. They know that already because you wrote it on your application form. Right, the interview is about trying to know who is this person. Why should I employ you? They always ask that question. You know, why should I employ you? What difference will you make to the company or to the organization, the school or an office job? What do you have to contribute to this environment? They're always going to ask that question. Why should I employ you? And you're there. The interview is for you to sell yourself. All right, the application letter gets you the interview. The interview is for you to get the job. You sell yourself, you'll be confident. Don't tell any lie and don't be cocky. Speak the truth, all right? And just have a conversation. And I can guarantee you, if that job is yours, it's gonna be yours, all right?